Joel Rubin, Jason Meister are back. Joel, I'm going to start with you with some reaction on that. Wow, well, that's really beneath us, uh, this whole scrum between the president and an, an American uh, federal employee. I find it really demeaning to have to see the president lower himself to arguing about text so messages. Joel, about it's this, too much. this insurance policy, are you curious to know what employees at the FBI were willing to do to keep a president out of the White House? Uh, you know, I, I think that there's an inspector general doing a report on that, and I'd love to hear what that inspector general says. I believe the IGs are a legitimate and necessary part, even though the president tried to fire them all when he came into office. So it'll be interesting to see what, what is coming out. But this back and forth with an American civil servant, the president seems to, to like attacking the people who work for us on behalf of our, right. our, uh, our population. So, Jason, you caught what Joel was saying there, and it's very similar to what some Democrats were saying uh, previous to the Mueller report dropping, that they would accept whatever came out of it. And I hear that from Joel, and I, I don't want to misquote you, Joel, but it sounds like you trust these people. Jason? Well, I hope that, they, that people like Joel do trust them because I actually believe that this report will be explosive. I think that there will be crimes that, were, that will be outlined, um, that Horowitz will outline. Remember, this goes back to 2017. And I think you're going to see crimes that were committed by top Obama, uh, DOJ, and FBI appointees. I don't think it's a question about, you know, if there will be criminal referrals. I think it'll be how high up they go. And I think it's just there's too much evidence in the public domain for this to be swept under the rug at this point. And I, I will also mention, I think that if, if some of what I'm hearing, who, who the whistleblower is, that person could be implicated in this report. And I think it's something that your viewers should be aware of because there was, there's evidence that there were text messages between Victoria Newland who was helping Steele write the, dossier, the Trump dossier. All right, we'll all be able to see it. It drops a week from today. Um, Matthew Whitaker was on the program a few minutes ago, former acting AG under President Trump. And uh, what he was talking about is just simply, you know, the facts in all of this. Uh, Joel, real quickly. Well, the facts are what matters, and the IGs, yes, I, I do uh, believe that they're going to get it right. I, I served in the Obama administration. I served in the Bush administration as a civil servant, and, and I find that uh, the, the destruction of the faith in American public service has been very uh, problematic, to say the least, in what we've seen with the, the Trump administration attacking these civil servants. So let's see what malfeasance there was. But all, all right. the allegations and all these uh, fake run. connections are a little too much uh, for the system to handle.